Welcome to AP Chemistry. This is the introduction to your summer assignment. Um, the quote that we always start off with, we say, the only place success comes before work is in the dictionary. It's a famous quote by Vince Lombardi. Um, this course, the AP course, is a fun, but it's an interesting and rigorous course as well. And because of the rigor, it's, it's really important that you review some of the concepts that you learned in first year chemistry. So the whole purpose of this assignment is not to teach you anything new, but it's to review basic information that you should have learned last year. So let's go ahead and look at what our objectives are for this particular summer assignment before we begin. And it says, number one, that you should be able to use scientific figures, scientific notation, and metric conversions. So the first couple of these, these are pretty easy. Metric conversions and scientific notation you used in your last year science course, whether that was chemistry or physics. Those are pretty standard, um, but they are very important that you be able to do and be able to do fairly quickly. Now, significant figures is something that kind of fell off the map as we progressed through the year in chemistry, and I'm willing to bet that you didn't use them at all in physics if you used, took physics last year. So we need to review the idea of significant figures. Once again, it's nothing new except for whenever we're dealing with significant figures with logs and exponentials. Okay, those are the only two things that are really new. Um, it's just a different take on them. It's nothing really that new. You need to be able to predict the products and write a balanced chemical equation. There's nothing new there. We talked about solubility rules in the activity series in first year chemistry. And you should be able to balance a chemical equation. Uh, we also talked about the difference between an empirical and molecular formula, and we were able to determine the percent composition based on that. And then finally, we or not finally, we were able to calculate the molar mass of compounds. So if it gave you something like um, NaCl in a periodic table, you should be able to tell me what the molar mass of that particular compound is. And finally, we need to review the idea of stoichiometry to determine mass, number of molecules, moles, um, you need to be able to take an equation and you need to be able to go from grams to moles, moles to grams to number or something along those lines. So just basic dimensional analysis.